Hurricane Dorian pounding the Carolinas with heavy wind and strong rain. More than 200,000 people are without power as the storm intensifies. Pounding rains and strong winds, Dorian is punishing the Carolinas, generating funnel clouds like this one spotted in Wilmington, North Carolina, and ripping apart these homes in Brunswick County, North Carolina, and quickly flooding the streets of low-lying Charleston, South Carolina, where the mayor had said he wanted the city to be a ghost town. Late last night as I went around, it was just that. People were out of the streets. They were safe. They were either out of town or hunkered down. Flooding is the big concern for many areas. As Hurricane Dorian moves northward along our coast, there will be flash flooding. I urge everyone, even those inland, to pay close attention to flood watches and warnings. Mandatory evacuations went into effect on Monday for more than a million coastal area residents in the Carolinas and Virginia, some heeding the warnings. When you say mandatory, there's got to be a reason why they're evacuating an entire city. Others sheltering in place, ready to weather the worst of it. We never leave. I don't know. I don't know why. We stay. The winds have been intense all morning, and now you can see on the boats behind me, they're starting to rip up some of the sails and the American flag. Everything within this uh, river area is just bouncing around. Now, more than 100 trees have been knocked over in the city of Charleston alone, and the big concern in the next couple hours is the flooding. We get closer and closer to that 2 p.m. deadline where the high tide starts to come in. We're going to have uh, more of a surge of water coming in as well, and we can see a lot more flooding. In Charleston, Connor Powell, back to you.